Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Analogies. By now, you should know that if you are a company that already started e invoice and you are the landlord, you should either e invoice your tenant or consolidated e invoice your tenant for your rental income and also utilities. But a lot of landlord they do not want to e invoice for the utilities part because this is not their income. Their income is only on the rental income. But according to the guide, even for utilities, the landlord should e invoice the amount too. So the best solution is to ask your tenant to change the name for the utilities under their company name. But if they do not do so, what you can do is still issue e invoice on the utilities, but do not choose the income account and change it to expenses or contract account. So the scenario will be like this. You issue e invoice, then the double entry will be debit the tenant and credit the contra or utilities account. Then later, when you receive the e-invoice or invoice from the utility supplier, change it back. The double entry will be credit the utility supplier and debit the utilities or contra account. So this will zeroize the contra account or the utilities expenses account and this amount will not go into your income. So for conclusion, as a landlord, you do not need to afraid to issue e-invoice for utilities because this will not be your income. And for tenant, please make sure you get the e-invoice from your landlord if you have not changed the name for utilities or if your landlord do not want to do so, please show them this guide because they are compulsory to do. Still the same things, the best way is to change the utilities bills under your own company name. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.